United Way of Southwest Oklahoma held its Success by Six program at 5.45 p.m. on Thursday, January 5th at Comanche Academy Charter School. The charter school hosts the event every first Thursday of the month. There were 10 families at the event with 24 people in attendance. The families were given a gift card, a resource bag, and snacks. Success by Six coordinator Roxanne Wiseman had families create family trees at the event. And that was really to help, you know, with identity, um, you know, learning who we are as people, learning who we are as a family unit, and um, then writing things down that we're proud of about ourselves and we're proud of about our family and um, doing positive self-talk exercises. She said it's essential to have a sense of identity. If we don't know who we are and what we're about, then you know, it makes, it makes us very impressionable, you know, especially going into school. You know, if you're not confident in who you are and the identity that you have, you know, it can make you very impressionable. And, you know, sometimes that leads to not making the greatest decisions in life. So it's really just important for us to focus in on identity and our family identity. Wiseman said the program is helpful for families by coming together once a week with exercises, lessons, and sessions from various community outreaches. And really every session is to empower these families and give them the tools that they need to help get their children school and life ready by age six. These outreaches include Marie Daddy, Comanche County Health Department, Lawton Public Library, and Lawton Public Schools. I think these types of events are incredible. I think that they are absolutely can be life changing. Um, you know, we meet families where they are. You, you know, we, we're very non judgmental. Our only goal is to help and empower families. And, you know, once we break down some of those barriers, you know, and our families become vulnerable, you know, we are seeing the change that is happening. And, you know, they're telling us about the change that is happening. So it truly is life changing. She said changes could be seen in families through these events. For instance, you know, we have a family that has a three year old autistic son who is nonverbal and, you know, they've just really struggled uh, with him and, you know, getting you know, proper pediatrician care, proper child care, you know, and just being parents themselves, you know, at times to a nonverbal child, you know, it's, it's difficult to learn. So, you know, having, you know, facilitators come in that can help with communi different communication styles, that can help with, you know, behavior modification, um, that can help with, you know, how, how can we talk to, you know, our kids that in a healthy and trustworthy way, essentially. Um, and I mean, I've just really seen it in that specific household. Their, their lives just become something of, you know, chaos to, it's really just tamed down. And, you know, I have to say that is all, not all, but that is in a big part to the facilitators that we have come in and the lessons that they teach. Weisman said they are grateful that the Comanche Academy Charter School has allowed them to utilize their facilities for a host site. Their next sessions this month are from 4.45 p.m. to 6 p.m. on January 12th at Zoe Christian Center, January 19th at Impact Community Center, and January 26th at Salvation Army Chapel. Reporting for the Comanche Nation, CIO News, Natasha Mercadante.